Hi, welcome to the 40k News Network. I'm Flapjack, chapter master of the Blood Raisin. This is Scullion, leader of the Custodians, and this uh, Community Wars leader. So, Skull, what's happened this week in the Community War? Well, so far, Jack shit, aside from me declaring war two days early, and we had a training with the Guardsmen today, the Custodies. Sounds good to me. Anyways, uh, this Community War, I got a feeling this is going to be a good one. Uh, we got a really good uh, lineup on the Loyalist side. Hopefully, we do better than we did last year with... Uh, that's just Community War in the uh, Instance 2 incident. But anyways, I don't think that's going to happen this year. Skull, what's your thoughts this year on uh, what's going to be happening? I feel like we've got a lot stronger base for our leadership going in. I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about the leaders we have for the certain groups. We have, of course, Domino as a new person this year. I'm not entirely sure if he was here for last year's Community War, but he is leading the Astra Militarum this time. Uh, Grey Knights are going to be more of a presence now, being led by... Bobo, and Custodies are very much taking off this year. So far, I think we actually have a stronger base than the enemy. We definitely outnumber them for factions and member-wise. Looking to be a good year. Yeah, this year we're looking to be really strong. Hopefully we get a good turnout for each battle, and hopefully the battles go well. Hopefully. Speaking of battles, our first battle of the Community War, which officially starts Wednesday, not Monday, as I made the mistake of believing, is going to be on Trench Warfare. It's going to be a supremacy match. Whoever controls most of the battlefield for the longest wins. For the first few matches, we're just going to be low, low strategy game modes. Not requiring a lot of communication for people to just vent all their anger from the previous, previous Community War. We are having a new theme this year. The premise for it is the Legions of Doom are gathering in Ultramar for a push towards the Imperial Center. And we, the Righteous Few, are counter offensiving if that's a word. We are mounting a counter offense. There it is. The enemies are led by Guzgul Thraka. Guzgul Thraka. Whatever. Sounds British. Our loyalist forces. Yeah, he's actually Australian. I accidentally called him Egyptian ah, same in thing. front of Lavender. <laughs> Since you're a little bit newer to the community than, than some people, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got here and what you do in the community and what your part in the community war is. All right, well, I am Sir Scullion III. I joined the community about, about a year and three months ago. I started off in the Grey Knights back when Terran was the head of that. Uh, it's where I met Phone Guy, it's where I met Obo, it's where I met Rhino, it's where I met a lot of my early friends. As far as the Custodes, I'm currently the Captain General of the Custodes. I was elected to that position by the first 10 Custodes, recruited by myself, Doc, and Monty. And speaking of Doc, the way the Custodes started, we were on the Cozy Cabin map. Doc was sitting there in the big old Centurion Dorn from TTS and I was sitting there in a Kiskitari avatar and he was playing with the markers and he started role-playing he always likes role-playing as Dorn he said let us build a fortress and we sat there for a kid you not four hours with those markers drawing an entire fortress out there on the porch and that's how me and Doc met I mentioned to him I wish there was a custodian avatar because there were no custodians avatars there aside from the Jojo custodians from TTS he said huh I get on the next day, and he had the first custodian avatar completely modeled out, rigged, and uploaded into VR chat. And from there, we just started recruiting people, and we made our way onto the council. And now here you are. Yes, I'm also the organizer for this year's community war, voted in by all the good guy leaders. Yeah, and all you guys already know who I am. I'm the dumb guy with the butter helmet, so no, no explanation needed. Anyways, moving on, Bobo, what's our weather looking like? Where the fuck am I? Uh, how the hell did I get here? Want me to do what? No, I will not! What? Uh. Okay, I guess I'll be doing this today, because the war brought me here. Um, today, it seems like we are at the Whispering Swamp. It is the Righteous Few, which is me and all the good guys, versus the Council of Doom. They're stinky fat boys. They're loyal, we're all pushing in on the, from every direction. Let's see, we got, we got a few, we got a few dreadnoughts going here and here. Uh, Terminators with their shields are blasting shit and all that. You got Abaddon over there being a fucking pussy ass bitch. I don't, I don't really fucking know. 
Uh, we got a few, like, blood angels and shit flying around and jumping on a s- giant skull that's in there. It's a giant dinosaur that somebody killed. I don't know. I wish I could have killed it. Anyway, we fucked them up. They retreated back to the wall to their gods. Uh, y- yeah, no, fuck, fuck, fuck her. Screw all those guys. Screw the chaos bad. I, I need to... Thank you, Bobo. Anyways, um, so how do you think this upcoming battle is going to be going for the Loyalist side here? We have pretty strong numbers, so personally, I feel this is going to go really good for us. I got, I got a feeling that we're going to be pulling a victory for this one. What's your thoughts? I honestly feel the same. I feel like we do have a home field advantage, especially with the Guard and Custodes having so many recent events on that map. It is a supremacy match, so numbers are going to be in our advantage. We definitely do have superior firepower to them, as well as superior skills and superior strategic value. Anyways, that's all we got this week. Thank you for tuning in. This is 40K News Network. We're your hosts, Flapjack and Scullium. Y'all have a good one. Anyways, where's my coffee? <laughs> Where the f- I walked into a wall doing that. Cloth. Oh shit, you got one. <laughs> Give me one too. Uh, Where's Brandon Herrera when you need him? Here.